I'd like to show you a really cool technique for uh, preserving the white in your drawings and this is so much like watercolor. I'm using this um, masking fluid pen and I'm going to take the cap off and I'm just going to draw a little carrot here and the carrots have some little I don't know if you can see what I'm drawing but um, putting some stems up here and carrots have some little root like things that come off of them so I'm going to draw that and that's a little bit coarse because I was holding the the fluid a little more vertical but um, basically what I'm going to do now is let that dry just as if I were going to do a watercolor and I were using this product for a watercolor resist so this is a fine line super nib anti-clogging masking fluid pen and when this is dry then it looks like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, zoom in just a little bit for you I think if I can nope can't zoom in all right so I'm going to start then with a little bit of yellow and put this is jasmine put a little bit of jasmine right in here color them jasmine first and I don't have to worry about leaving any white because I have um, put that masking fluid down so I'm coloring in with the jasmine next I'm going to go to a deco orange and put in some deco orange make that come over just a little bit farther getting some very pale orange carrots there next I'll use yellow orange oh sorry um, it's hard to work around this I tried using my other camera to make a video it works so well but there are two problems number one I made it upside down um, because that's the way the tripod worked the best and um, secondly I couldn't get it off to play for you so um, here you go you're just going to have to um, put up with this little problem here so there I'm getting my carrot in there next I'm going to go a little bit darker to orange put some there put some here some come right in here Mm, that looks crazy. Getting crazy here. All right, I think that one side is going to need a little bit of this deco orange on it now that it's gotten a little bit darker. Just need a little bit of that. So it looks more like a real carrot than a something so yellow. Okay, and finally I have um, orange and a little maybe pale vermilion because pale vermilion is a little bit of a darker orange. Let's just put a little shadow around here with that. There. Oh, this is looking delicious. Delicious looking carrot. Now, I'm ready to put some greens in the top. I'm going to start with chartreuse. Put 
put some carrot greens. I lived on a farm when I was a kid, and I remember uh, my mom and my grandma, everyone, we grew carrots in our garden. And um, so this is what I think they look like. I need to add a little more green just to get some variations in there. This happens to be spring green. There's no, this is imaginary carrot greens. These are not uh, being taken realistically. It's just an impression that there are greens on the top of that carrot. And the last color is apple green. I'm going to add a little apple green. I love to use three different values when I when I work in my work. It really makes the colors pop, at least three different values. The colors are bright, cheerful. There we go, we got some greens on those carrots. And because I want those white lines to pop out, I'm going to take, this is a, um, a light aqua color, and I'm going to come in around the outside edge here, and I'm going to put some of this right in here. I guess these carrots are floating in the sky. Thought about making it brown down there, but that wouldn't look quite as nice as this blue is going to look. And you can kind of color right over that masking fluid with your marker. I want it to be nice and smooth down here, so I'm going to go over this a number of times. Make a cool carrot artist trading card. And um, the coolest part is when you take off the masking fluid. So um, I'm trying to get through here so we can get to that best part. And you can use a rubber cement pickup. I don't believe I have one of them right over here. So what I'm going to have to use is my fingers. So I'm going to put a little bit of dark right in there. Separate those two carrots. Just a tiny little bit. That blue, probably a mistake maybe, but we'll see. We'll see. And a little bit more up in, up in, carry that around little bit of dabs. Okay, so those are my carrots. Now comes time for the magic part and I'm going to rub and scrub here and you can see this pulls off like um, rubber cement used to pull off. Have you ever worked with rubber cement? And this is what's happening. It's preserving the white in my piece and I have a really cool looking artist trading card. Hope you like it. Thanks for your time. Bye.